Welcome, Dr. James Beckett, Sports Card Insights. Another short YouTube video. Uh, the card wall that I have, that's eight card panels. This is Bill Cower up through what I call Dallas. So C's and D's. First card being Bill Cower, his rookie card, uh, the National uh, Convention embossed version, which is uh, way tougher. Uh, definitely a keeper. Uh, I thought about using his uh, APBA, his APBA card, but uh, that's not really. You know, it's just it's a quasi card, so not uh, not including that. Uh, thank you, sponsors. They're much appreciated. Uh, you probably know the drill by now. Uh, one of my favorite cards here, uh, Mike Kramer, good friend, uh, definitely a keeper. He's uh, for what he's done for the hobby. Um, I found out from his book, which I recommend that. This, this photo is from the newspaper article that I remember seeing back uh, in the 74, perhaps, something like that. Uh, but you'll notice he calls himself sports collector, uh, not card collector, not renaissance man, not non-sport collector. But uh, at his heart, he, is, uh, he loves the sport, as evidenced by his uh, photographic chops and all the cards that he has. An amazing, amazing guy. Uh, read about his whole story in his book, and maybe he'll even make a sequel. Uh, Joe Cronin, a uh, great uh, player, manager. Uh, this is his batter-up low number. Uh, I, I guess I'll, I'll keep it in there for a while. He's, he's worthy, but somebody else uh, may be more worthy. Uh, a better card of his as well as a better, um, maybe, a, maybe a better player. I originally was going through and trying to get uh, one Hall of Fame, well, get every Hall of Famer in baseball, and uh, I'm not going to do that. There's some I won't do. This is Bobby Cox's rookie card. Uh, again, he was uh, a decent player, as you can see from, I love the Topps uh, Trophy uh, All-Star Rookie uh, designation. So it shows that he was a, a real player, and yet uh, he's uh, a Hall of Famer based on his managing skill. So he'll be in there for a while. I don't know that he'll uh, always be in there. Might want to look for an autographed version of that, but that's a, a decent card. Uh, Sidney Crosby uh, really needs to be in there. Don't know if I'll use this one. It's a 9.5 uh, of the Beehive uh, Rookie or the uh, Gold version. I've got several other versions, and I'm, I probably have an autographed one uh, somewhere, but I, I can't find it. It's either at BGS. But again, the other dilemma we had is that when Beehive, you would think that's a simple thing, Beehive, B-E-E-H-I-V-E. -E -E. Well, is the H capital, is it two words or one word? And we always had that dilemma based on uh, historically what was done with, uh, with that particular set from its uh, his historical roots. Uh, Frank Crescetti, uh, this is a great card, a Z-nut. I picked up Z-nuts of, of uh, players that I recognized great Yankee uh, player and coach. It's a cool card, but when I put it up on my card wall for the last few years, no one has commented about it. Uh, on the other hand, I've got a Z-Nut, uh, Joe DiMaggio, Earl Averill, uh, some other guys, and they do notice those. This is Jay Crowder, one of, a real crowd pleaser when he was on the Mavs, went on to be a really good player for, uh, for other teams. He's a championship contributor. He's an unselfish all-around good player, but he's also uh, probably not going to be on the wall, even though I like to have a Dallas Maverick flavor. Uh, I don't think he's going to be on there forever. Uh, Robert Cullum, I've got him on there because I know his, uh, I don't know if they're his uh, sons, nephews, or grandsons, but I, I know some Cullums, and I'm keeping it on my wall until somebody notices that, hey, I'm related to that guy. But uh, in the meantime, uh, and then at that point, I'll probably take him down. Not that he did not make contributions to the, uh, to the uh, Cotton Bowl of being one of the major New Year's football bowls. Uh, Johan Cruyff, uh, hockey super, I mean, uh, soccer superstar, uh, but not, not recent, not recent. And so I think the movement in soccer might be toward uh, picking up these, uh, the, the, the Dutch superstars and other European superstars. But uh, I don't, I think I'll put him on there and see what uh, feedback I get. But long term, I'm not sure. He may get bumped out by Messi and Maradona and other people like that. Candy Cummings, great name. And uh, again, again, he's a Hall of Famer, uh, as evidenced by the uh, Callahan uh, cards. These, uh, the Callahan's cards came in a box. I used to collect them by the years. I had all the, all the different boxes, all the different years, because I was a little bit of a, 
of uh, completist. Uh, and uh, really the first few years of Callahan's not as tough. The last year, uh, very tough, very tough. But uh, anyway, this is, he's probably going to get bumped out. The Dallas card I'm talking about is just to prove that that Dallas did have a, I don't know if it was a Texas league or a, or a Southern league, but it was the, the T210s, the old mill red borders. I'll probably keep this just because it, it, it looks like he's a tiger with the, with the script D, but it's, uh, it's the Dallas team from uh, more than a hundred years ago. So just a good conversation piece. And you might think I forgot Stephen Curry. I didn't forget him, but my best Stephen Curry cards are still at BGS <laughs> and I will not, uh, you've got to have Steph, uh, uh, he, he's certainly worthy, but as you know, he, Steph is not in the dollar boxes. So if I'm going to get a good Steph Curry card, which I have some better ones, uh, I'm going to have to get it out of a pack, uh, of some of the boxes that I buy and get, uh, if I see a good Stephen Curry, I'll put him up there. He's, he's, uh, not single-handedly, but, uh, almost single-handedly changed the game of being a long range bombing a three point game where you're not out of it when, when he can pull up inside a half court. So a lot of fun. Uh, when I take my nephew to the, to the game, he wants to know when is Steph Curry going to be in town and he wants to go early. So Steph really worthy of honor and being on the wall. Uh, he'll be on there probably forever. So that's it. See you again tomorrow.